Okay. Right. This is called unmuted strings. The hard anger fiddle has iron strings. It produces no melodious phrases. It is music with a sting in it. It affects different people in different ways. Some of us soak it up with national mawkishness. Others of us bare our teeth and howl with melancholy. Never was such a powerful effect produced by stinging music. And now I sit once more and listen to the soughing of the forest. Is it the distant Aegean I can hear, or the ocean current glimmer? I grow weak from sitting and listening. Memories well up, well up within me from my life. A thousand joys, music and eyes and flowers. There is no splendor like the soughing of the forest. It is like rocking. It is like madness. Uganda, Antanabito, Honolulu. Atacama, Venezuela, Transylvania. This book's great, as Nut Hansen, the Wanderer, and he's kind of quite a controversial um, novelist at the beginning of the 20th century. And he, he, the second half of this book's called On Muted Strings. And he tells of, at the age of 50, two score years and 10, how he reflects on his life and how everything seems to be a little bit. Here's my copy. Um, looks like a lifetime of travel, and, and it hasn't actually been in the bottom of my uh, rucksack for 40 years. I, I've in fact read it over a period of, of three months and I read it a couple of pages at a time in the bath before going to sleep at night and I quite often go to sleep in the bath and drop the book in which is why it's got this bedraggled um, look to it. I love the way he talks about the soughing of the forest and it's kind of got a stark way of speaking and there's huge subtext in his writing. A wanderer plays on muted strings when he reaches the age of two score years and ten. This is when he plays on muted strings. If he comes too late to the, in the autumn to the woods where the berries grow, uh, anyway, and so it goes on. I can highly recommend it. And ten, and I came to Trinity and settled down after a bit of a life of uh, wandering, surrounded myself with brilliant musicians and dancers and very, very clever people and family, of course. And now, um, especially in this time of lockdown, I thought I'd, I'd share a little piece of music because we're all having such vivid dreams and I'm dreaming of uh, the forest, the sowing of the forest, the plain, the maple, the spruce, the pine, the ebony and the rose. 